What's up, YouTube? This is John Petrovich. I'm going to be doing another South Park episode, and this one is Tist. <laughs> this is the one where um, they try to get Cartman to behave by hiring the super nanny and the other nanny, and then finally, like, the dog whisperer guy. It's pretty funny. Alright, here we go. Mrs. Cartman, I've had up with your son's behavior, I'm calling. Little Billy Turner is now being treated at the hospital. Eric, why would you do such a thing? I'm sorry. I handcuffed Billy Turner's ankle to the school flagpole. You know that's not the point. Okay, I'm sorry. I handcuffed Billy Turner's ankle to the flagpole and then gave him a hacksaw. And then told him to poison his lunch milk and it was the only way to get out is the antidote in time would be to start through his leg. That is very naughty, Eric. Well, he called me chubby. Uh, we have tried at this school to make Eric understand that there's boundaries and going, but frankly, we believe that his behavior problems start at home. Well, I know he's out of control, but you don't know what it's like. I'm sorry, it's just that he seems to get worse and worse every day. He just never listens. Well, now, don't, asshole, you made my mom cry. It's not him, it's you, Eric. I don't know what to do with you. Sure you do. You're a great mom. Who's the greatest mom in the world? My mom is number one in my heart. It's true. My mom's the best mom. Better than your mom. Mrs. Cartman, I know this is extremely difficult, but there is help out there for people like you. Have you heard of a show called Nanny 911? They're the every parent's worst nightmare. Shut up! I hate you! I hate you! Kid's completely out of control. Look, I'm skating! I'm skating! It's time to call Nanny 911. Parents of America, help is on the way. This eight-year-old son of a single parent just won't behave. And Nanny Stella selected to set him straight. It's time to Nanny Stella to show Eric Cartman his ways are not going to be tolerated anymore. Mom, are you deaf? Somebody's at the door! Yes, I think it's the nanny poop again. Killer. I'm going to be on TV now. Blah. Hello, I'm Nanny Stella. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Please come in. And you must be Eric. Mom, I want a Twinkie. All right, dear. Hold on, Mrs. Cartman. There are going to be some rules and changes around here, Eric. First of all... No more video games until chores are done. <laughs> I'm serious. Let's put the video game down and we'll go to the kitchen. Right. I don't think so. Then I'm going to have to take it. What the hell do you think you're doing? Come on. This video game is going right here on the counter until we've done some chores. Now, first thing we're going to do is make your bed. Eric, no. This is not acceptable. Stop trying to bug out my axe back, you fat bitch! All right, that's it. You're going to time out. Time out. Whenever you're naughty, Eric, you are going to sit on the stool for five minutes. And what exactly keeps me on the stool? It's the time out stool. You can't get up until the time is up. Well, how did I do that? Eric, you must stay and time out. Um, no. Come on, you don't have a choice. All right, seriously? You're starting to piss me off now? Eric, you need to listen to me. This is very important. I'm going to get down to eye level with Eric so that I can talk to him on his level. Eric, you need to understand why you're being punished, all right? I'm just going to get down as soon as you move. Well, then, you'll have to stand right here. Yeah, it's a best to avoid his level. All right, I dealt with this before. We just need a little psychology on him. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Why are you so angry?
Because you took my Xbox. Is there more than your video game? Are you feeling angry because you think that I'm here to change your life? Well, yeah. And you think that you have, I have no right to come in and tell you how to live? Yeah, I guess so. See this? All you have to do is time to talk to your children about their feelings. What else are you feeling, Eric? Well, I was feeling confused because I don't understand why you became a nanny. Me? Well, it's because I love children like you. Right, but if you love children so much, how can you be a nanny mommy? Well, I never had kids. Why not? It just never happened. It's sterile, isn't that? No, it's too convenient of an excuse. Truth is, nobody ever wanted to have babies with you. Isn't that it? Always the mom's maid and never the mom. It <laughs> must be hard on you. Knowing the years are ticking by, away and your friends are all getting married while your uterus is slowly shriveling away, drying up, becoming totally worthless. Why, you bastard, how dare you? Eric, that's naughty. What kind of monster would... Yes, let the anger come. Strike me down when you can. But it won't make you dry up ovaries anymore, Fairtile. That's it. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh, but we really need some help. Find yourself another nanny. Television show. Coming up next, it's Super Nanny. When other nannies fail, Jenny Joe comes through. This child's behavior is totally unacceptable. There's no trial too tough for Super Nanny. In just three days' time, you're going to see a new Eric Cartman. I'm afraid Super Nanny is in a deep state of mental psychosis. What do you mean? I mean, she spends most of her time sobbing and eating her own shit. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know what else to do about my son's behavior problems. We've been through every nanny reality show on television. Well, there is one more show you could still try. When things go bad, there's one man who's best friend, Caesar Milan. No dog is too much for me to handle. I rehabilitate dogs. I train people. I am the dog whisperer. Please, come in. So tell me, what are the problems you're having with your child? Well, he's out of control. I mean, he never listens to me. He must pretty much runs my life. So the child needs to learn that he's not the most important person in the house. Can you stop talking behind my back? I'm right here, fruitcake. See, I'm not looking at the child. I'm not acknowledging the child. I'm just letting the child know I'm not interested in him. Not interested in me? See, the child thinks your world revolves around him because it does. Because everything he does gets a response from you. Yeah, well, I don't see why. Hey! Don't look at the child. Just keep looking at me. Let him know we're having a conversation. Mom, this guy doesn't. Ah, quit it! What is that you're doing? Dogs show their dominance by nipping at each other on the neck, but it works equally well on a child. I just use two fingers, nip at the child's neck, doesn't hurt the child, just let him know I am dominant. Look, Mexican, if you really think you can... Knock it off! See, I'm not validating his bad behavior with other negative or positive response. Oh, that's very interesting. I think the first thing we need to do is getting work on the child some exercise. He's fat and he needs to get rid of all this pent-up energy. I'm not fat! We need to let him burn it off. Do you let it take walks with your son? Well, no, I don't. Go on, take your son for a walk. Hey, you think he's funny, you son of a bitch? See, once again, I'm going to go for a walk. It's about me. The child is just lucky to come along. Mom, this is degrading! Ah, oh, damn it! Don't look at him, just look straight ahead, and it will be run out of energy soon. Mom! Mom! <coughs> Mom! Here, why don't you try it now? Take your son. Mom, seriously! People are seeing me! Good. Keep your confidence. Shoulders back. Eyes straight ahead. The child can pick up on that confidence. Learning he's supposed to follow you. Do not lead you. Mom, don't you love me anymore? Can't you see I'm happy right... I'm unhappy right now? Mom! Good, Mrs. Cartman. Very good. And now back to the dog whisperer. It is important to understand the dogs run in packs. The one dog is always dominant, the pack leader. God damn it! Stop ignoring me! You must assert yourself as pack leader with dominant energy. Oh, all right. This is abuse! I'm a child, and I'm entitled to a little attention. 
Quit, man! It doesn't seem to work as well when I do it. Okay, let me show you how to express the dominant energy. What I've done here is I brought over some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ooh, kind of sweet. What I'm going to do is eat it first, because that is what the pack leader does. Hey, give me the chicken! Give me some chicken! Ow, what are you doing? I want chicken! Give me some freaking chicken! I'm not going to acknowledge this child's attempt at aggressive dominant behavior. Now you eat the chicken. Mom, give me some chicken! I want some chicken, Mom! We don't reward him until he's in a calm, submissive behavior. I'm not a dog! Give me some chicken! Give me, give me, give me some chicken! I want some chicken! Give me some chicken! Give me some chicken! Give me the chicken! Give me the chicken! We need him to become relaxed and submissive. Okay, I'm fine. I'm cool. I'm cool. Can I please have some chicken, please? Oh, very good, sweetie. No, he's lying. You can tell from the stance he's still aggressive dominant. Suck my asshole, taco vendor! See? Damn it! You can't just stand here with eat KFC in front of me! Now hand it over! Ow! You can't do that to me! Ow! Damn it! You can't just... Eh? Seriously? Oh. Eh. I'm not being aggressive. I'm being dominant. Wow! I have a lot to learn. Mom! I'm serious! It's gone long enough! Get that guy out of here and give me a piece of chicken! That's how you want it, bitch! Fine! I hate you! I'm running away! Oh dear! It's okay, this is all part of the dominant struggle. But what if he does run away? Just let him go, he'll be back. This is a good opportunity for you to relax and enjoy your favorite hobby. Oh boy, Park Avenue, I'm rich! Hey guys, I got some big news. I like ran away from home, yeah. My mom just, she doesn't care about me anymore, so I moved out. She didn't even try to stop me. It's going to be rough living on my own, but I'll get by somehow. Well, you can't stay here. Maybe you didn't hear me. I ran away. I don't have anywhere to sleep. I'm out on the street. And I'm not staying in my house either. All right. That's fine, butter. So crash with you. No, my parents won't let me bring any homeless people anymore. Well, what do you expect me to do, you guys? I can't stay with Kenny. He's totally poor. I'm not staying with poor people. All right, fine. I'll stay with Kenny. Let's go, man. Fuck you! <laughs> well, I just... I don't see how supportive friends can be. When the chips are down, you won't even lend me a hand. I'll just go sleep on the street somewhere. Out in the cold. Probably get mugged and gang raped by some minorities. You guys will be sorry when I turn up dead. Whoopee! Gene, on railroad! Hey, Jimmy. You're not gonna believe this. I ran away from home. I just... I really need to support my best friend right now. Who is your best friend? You are, Jimmy. You've always been best friends. You know everything about me. W what's my last name? Um, Craig, dude. I ran away from home. You're the first person I came to. I knew you'd take me out the street. But I hate you. Should that really matter at a time like this? This is bullcrap, Mom! Ah, I'm gonna break soon. I can outlast her. Alright, I'm back. Oh, Eric, I'm so happy you're home. Yes, well, hopefully you've learned your lesson. I'll come back, and there's going to be some changes around here. Look what I did, Eric. I learned how to make sumi paintings. I almost forgotten how artistic I was. That's super interesting, but I've been out living on the streets for almost four hours. Make me something to eat. Caesar! How is the painting going? Ah, damn it! Oh, look, who came back? Yep, just like you said he would. What the hell is he still doing here? He said he's hungry. What should I do? Well, let's feed it. What the hell is this? Skinless chicken, boiled vegetables, and salad? This is just like Auschwitz. This is more aggressive dominant behavior. Don't nurture it. Oh my god. Bite-sized Snickers, that's it? I'm calling Child Protective Services. This is ridiculous. Come on, Mrs. Carpenter. You must become the pack leader.